Hello everyone and today I am back with a review this time for the Orc Forge from back in 2012. It's probably no point in recording this as well it was in 2012 and it's probably only way to get it is on eBay for quite a bit of inflation in prices. So yeah. But yeah, let's get on the review. The main idea of this set is to forge weapons and armor for the Urukai army. So at the base here, we got a guy. So he's got a shovel and he digs up metal. And then that is this stuff. So you get six of these one by one silver tiles as this supposed metal. And you essentially put it in this bucket. This winch here comes down and picks it up, and that it just winches up. So that, and from there, up here, let's just, I'm gonna just put this guy up here. This guy, they'll just put the metal from here. So you'd have to take it out, uh, and that cauldron has to go there. I'm just going to remove this guy. Cauldron, oh, I just spilled it everywhere. That would tip down this chute, and it would all go everywhere, and then someone probably just this guy it doesn't matter but you just get if this to here and then normally it would have a light brick in there which would be which is activated from here but I don't have any of the batteries for that so I can't show you and also it's in a well lit environment, so it probably won't, you know, like, see it. And then from there, you can bring it over to here, this mould, hang on, and you'd move the pot from here and you'd pour it into here. I'm just going to focus it. There we go. And then you'll just pull out the moulded swords and then you just get this anvil put the put the sword on here and then you can just get a guy the hammer they include the hammer and the shovel by the way and then you can just donk it away but in this you also get the uh... two Urukai helmets with the white hand of Saruman, two shields with the white hand of Saruman, and two dark gunmetal gay, gun gunmetal gunmetal grey chest plates. And you'd normal in the set you'd get one more Urukai sword, but as a spare they include another. So you actually get if you buy this you get one, two, three, four. One's still back in there. So yeah, let's move on to the minifigs. One thing I did forget is that this piece of rock here, if you remove it, well, this guy would dig it out, and then if you push from behind, lurts the apparent leader of the Urukai, who then ends up getting killed. So it's not really much of a leader. But yeah, that is the last thing that I forgot to show you. So yeah, let's move, now let's move on to the minifigures. Okay, for the minifigures, first up we have this guy here. So it's just a normal orc, mortal orc. Nice print on the front, nice print of the face. Print on the back and print on the back of the head. It's pretty simple. You essentially get two of these guys, but the other one uh, here. He comes with a uh, 
the bat, like the hairpiece. So essentially they're the exact same, but this one has the hairpiece. But if you want to have a look at them side by side, I'm just going to put this guy off to the side, this guy off to the side. And there's a little 360. Feel free to pause the video if you want to have a look at any of the prints in detail. Just your normal mortar orcs. Let's move on to the next one. Next we have an Urukai, which has the actual leg printing this time. And front a chest printing, dark red arms, face printing, and alternate face this time, as well as back. Yeah, normally this guy would have armor on like this, but my head, the head, the uh, the head that I got with this one is quite brittle and is really stiff, and you can see it's already chipped away at the back there. That's why I have this one at the front. But yeah, let's move on to Lurtz. The last figure we have here is Lurtz, who has chest printing, face printing, hair piece, and I'm just going to take this off. So he kind of has that same style of head that this guy has, but just printed on a different head colour. I think they're the exact same prints. Yeah, they're the exact same prints, just on different oh, things. And that is the same. No, these are different. Yeah, the front face print's different, but the back one, the alternate face with the hand paint is the same. And he also has back printing. So yeah, that is Lurtz, and I'm just going to put the hair back on, because it looks weird without it. So I guess that wraps up the review for the uh, Orc Forge set. Overall, well, back in the day when it would have been like $30, this would have definitely been a good set to get, but now on eBay where you can see it going for like brand new, like a hundred dollars, otherwise like and used around eighty. If you're really nostalgic about it and you don't have it, I I guess it's up to you. You get it, not get it, but back in the day I would definitely get this, but nowadays probably not to be a perfectly honest but otherwise it's still a really really good set but that's kind of makes me sad because I really like this back in the day and if you were to get it now like honestly if you want to get it get it but it's, currently it's not a must buy but I guess that wraps up the end of this video I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye